So my name is Faye Lakani Lau. I go by she, her pronouns. I work for the city and county of San Francisco, uh, specifically as a language access coordinator for the Office of Civic Engagement and Immigrant Affairs, or OSEA. Uh, as a city worker, we are all disaster service workers. Um, and in, from the past, I think in the past four weeks, I have been working as a Filipino translator for the Emergency Operations Center, which was activated um, when the COVID-19 pandemic started. It's actually been around since um, around January when we heard about it in China, but it didn't get to the scope until like, you know, like last March. Um, so I've been working there since mid-March. And I got involved in that work, which is a combination of many things. So it's like emergency response, but also public health education and all that stuff. Um, and I got involved in it because I was deployed and I was asked to just translate a lot of the vital information that we need so that everyone in San Francisco, residents and essential workers can um, get access to information regardless of language ability. So in particular for COVID-19, it's a lot of translating like signs, uh, I've translated health orders that have come out, um, and even at some point like voicemails for alerts or text alerts and even social media materials and stuff. Today I just um, recorded a multilingual voicemail that will go out to everybody regarding the COVID testing, um, COVID-19 testing sites for any resident or essential worker in San Francisco who are feeling the symptoms. So part of my job is to be on your voicemails. So here's a sample. This is a message from the city and county of San Francisco. Este es un mensaje en español de la ciudad y condado de San Francisco. Hola, saludos de la ciudad de San Francisco. Un mensaje en esto. Un mensaje en esto. Un mensaje en filipino. I was actually doing similar things. Um, as a language access coordinator, my job is to help my team oversee the language access ordinance, which is this city ordinance, like a policy that San Francisco has that requires every department that serves the public um, the same access to everyone, regardless of whether they speak English or not. So part of that requirement is also having everything translated uh, in Spanish Chinese and Filipino, or a lot of people know it as Tagalog. So that's what I was doing before. Um, and that's actually why they deployed me was because I have the language ability. I can translate in Filipino and also do interpreting. Man, not only did we have to learn how to work from home, we also had to like kind of create new systems so that we could do our work remotely because the city and county, we still have, we don't have Wi-Fi. We like have access through an ethernet cable. So it's a lot of adjustments through that. But it changed too because I got deployed to go to the emergency operations center and go there almost every day to do the work that I was doing. And so it's it feels like it hasn't really changed, but at the same time, it's just busier and a little bit more like on crisis mode. Um, so that has been interesting. It's also kind of cool to see a lot of the work products that I, I do in the office be in the streets. So like you see bus stops and you see it in three languages. It's part of the work that I do. Um, all of that other stuff. I don't know if we are going to be in shelter in place up until June or until 2021. You know, at, working at EOC, everyone has sort of like assumed that we are going to be here for, for a while. So I guess my vision would be to have a better system and a more efficient way of really serving um, all the residents in San Francisco or just our communities in general in the most equitable way possible. Hopefully we'll be more compassionate towards the vulnerable communities too because I think they are hardly like very very they're hit like the hardest. Um, it's not it's not great for a lot of people right now but I hope this pandemic can shed light to that.